Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of January 15th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you at this time. And let's see what comes up for this week for you. Uh, you're the first person that has had something like this this week. That's interesting. Um, this card, Seven of Diamonds, definitely a card of following your intuition, following your instincts in a lot of ways, and uh, but mostly a card of having messages coming to you at this time um, and needing to pay attention to the messages you are receiving. So you know, as a very intuitive sign, then I think you should definitely do that. Next, you have the Ace of Clubs. Um, yeah, uh, Ace of Clubs is my favorite card in the deck, but um, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. But, uh, you know, I, I feel something different coming from this card this week. I do feel like it has a lot to do with ideas and things that you want to do. For some of you, I feel like it has to do with potentially marriage or getting married in some ways. Uh, you don't really have any, um, you don't really have any other cards of marriage necessarily here. You don't have any like cards that do represent that you do have the card of soulmates which is the eight of hearts that can, it can represent a soulmate um but um i do feel like this has to do with marriage so may, maybe some of you are getting married and this could represent that uh it is a great card of abundance and um you know having more abundance coming in at this time next you have the ten of spades ten of spades can represent transformation it's also like i consider this to be almost like the death card uh, in the tarot, just a card of transforming past obstacles. It can also be a card of travel, and I do feel like some of you could be traveling at this time. Next, you have the Eight of Spades. Um, this card is a card of making sure that you stay healthy at this time, um, and making sure you get plenty of rest as well. Uh, you have kind of like a mixed bag here, but uh, I would say this week. So definitely, I'd say pay attention to getting rest. Make sure you get plenty of rest. Drink plenty of water this week. Don't get sick. This can also be a good card, though. Um, you know, it can be a card that says, like, the rest actually helps you get to somewhere else. You know, the resting maybe leads to more ideas or allows you to clear your mind or something like that. Next, you have the Seven of Spades, internal fears that don't exist. So again, let your fears go. I look at both the Ten of Spades and the Eight of Spades as you know, cards that could potentially bring up past issues, past fears, past worries, things like that. So, you know, definitely let things from the past go. I'd say don't hold on to uh, any issues from the past. You have two sevens here as well. Like I said, sevens in general represent internal fears that don't exist. So try to let that stuff go. Uh, next, you have the Eight of Hearts. Uh, this card, to me, like I said, represents soulmates, so it could represent soulmates. To me, it's also a card of uh, fantasy, but in a good way. It is called the Moon in the Lenormand card reading system, but it's not like the Moon in the Tarot. You know, the Moon in the Tarot represents fantasies that just aren't going to, you know, kind of become reality. But this card actually represents creating fantasies that do become reality. Uh, the one thing I will say is that this card does say, and even just looking at some of your other cards here, uh, this card does say that you need to put structure behind, you know, behind these ideas. You need to create that reality. You need to make sure that it happens. This is a card of like taking things step by step as well. Uh, sometimes this card comes up, we have this like huge idea in our head, something we want to accomplish. Uh, but this card says like, you know, bring it back to the beginning and then, you know, kind of like put the put things in place so that you can actually make it a reality. And then finally, you have the two of diamonds matching up with something perfectly financially. Could be a new job, new business, and uh, or it could be a raise. This is a great card for investments, and it could also just be more money coming in at this time. So looks like an interesting week for you. Like I said, even with those spades cards, I wouldn't worry about those cards. You don't have any cards of necessarily being held back. Like if you had a nine of spades or something like that uh, this week, I would be a little bit more concerned. But, you know, it actually looks pretty, uh, pretty good this week in general. I'd say just don't get, you know, don't get too much in your head, uh, if nothing else. Uh, but it looks good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.